about stealing your partner's sperm so that you could get pregnant. Last week, journalist Liz Jones caused a bit of a stir when she admitted that she had stolen sperm from two boyfriends in an attempt to have a baby. Well, Liz Fraser says that no matter how desperate a woman may be to get pregnant, dirty tricks like this are simply not acceptable. Well, both Liz Fraser and Liz Jones join us now. So, um, Liz Jones, uh, let's let's start with you first of all. You're an outspoken columnist. Anyone who reads your column will uh, will know the sort of thing they're going to get. You, it's not the first time you've ruffled a few feathers. Um, but but you have said yourself that you are not and wouldn't be a natural mother. Yes, I suppose, um, to fill people in a little bit, I was in my late 30s before I had a proper relationship. I guess like many women who'd had a career, I was a bit desperate. I also slightly at the back of my mind felt that if I had a child, my partner was more likely to stick around. Mm. I think that's a mistake that many, many, many women make. Mm. I'm not condoning that women tried to get pregnant without telling their husband. Um, I'm just saying that it happens. But but you say yourself, you, you didn't consider yourself to be a mumsy type. In fact, you looked down on mumsy types. Yes. But it just shows, if even I did it, who wasn't really that desperate to be a mum, I thought it might be just something to do. I might get a year off maternity leave. Um, I might get the man to hang around. So, sorry, you're being a mum to get maternity leave and to get a man to hang around? Women have lots of different reasons for having babies. Some of them may be vanity, some of them may be they feel they might be missing their chance, it gives them something to love. Um, wow. So Luckily so it didn't work with me but I felt it was something that had to be talked about Yes. because I don't think men are quite as aware well, we'll yes, that we'll, women we'll discover will that as, we, as yeah. we sort of plough our way through the story because um, you say that uh, the partner that you had at the time um, but we've heard your reasons for thinking about starting a family. Um, he was wildly unsuitable, you yeah. say. So, so not only were you, was your reasons for having a baby interesting, to say the least, um, but, uh, but you were picking a man who wasn't even suitable. But I think when a woman gets to the end of her reproductive lifespan, which I was, and when I got married I was in my 40s, you do get desperate. And you, it's who you happen to be with. He so said even though I was with a husband who was a lot younger, wasn't ready to be a dad, I thought, right, well, he may not, he may be a baby himself. This is my last chance. He said but he didn't trust you. Yeah, it's your last chance. So he, he said, uh, he, and then he insisted on, on, on condoms because he said, yeah. I think in the back of his mind, looking at yeah. what you said, he yeah. reckoned that you were yeah. going to trick him. Yeah, I, so I'm not saying it's a good idea at all. It's re really lucky that it didn't work with me. But I'm saying that women will get yeah. desperate, and the older you get, the more desperate you get, the more unlikely the man might be to be ready. He may not be ready. He may would be you, ready in two years' time. If you time. had a fallen pregnant, would you have told him the truth? Would you have said, oh, well, that was an accident. How did that happen? No, I don't think I would. And I would have just said, I didn't do it deliberately. Oh, dear. You know, what shall we do about and it? You'd have lied. You'd have lied Well, lots, well. lots of women I spoke to for this feature, they said, well, of course I didn't tell him. Of course I, you know. Thieves you and think, liars. You think women, women think they know better than men. See, this men. worries me slightly. And, and Liz, I think, the other Liz, I think you'll, you'll <sighs> agree with me slightly here. I mean, this is not very girl power, this, is it? I mean, Thank this is you. sort of giving us a very bad name. And I worry about that. I think the biggest thing that's going to come out of this piece is that any men reading it or watching this morning are going to be terrified to sleep with the women that they're sleeping with. We've got to, your no, wife I think we should girlfriend. explain, before we go any further, how you actually did this. Because okay, he, and then, yeah. he insisted, and very sensibly insisted on using a condom. Uh, then uh, then you took that used condom when he didn't realise and uh, strange things to lose sight of. Um, but, uh, but, but you then took that and, uh, and, 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 and used its contents in your bathroom um, to inseminate yourself. Uh, so let's carry on having known the well, What I wanted to say is, I mean, we're talking about complete manipulation of a person's life. 
you said the word trust earlier on, Phil, as well. You know, relationships are about trust. And now many women listening will know, of course, one does not always trust the man that one's with. Okay, human relationships are very complicated and we need to be careful because we are the ones who are going to have the baby, okay? So uh, there are many women who know that they're with a man who's going to be very careful. Of course, he's going to be careful. 30 seconds later, you're knocked up and that's a big problem for you. But we as women, we hold the trump card, actually, when it comes to having children. If a woman would like to lie to her partner, she can become pregnant without telling him. That is completely hijacking his life. You don't get a year off on maternity leave. You get 50 years of parenting. Is That's there a what difference you're in between a woman saying, I'm on the pill, uh -huh. and, and actually not being, and uh -huh. getting pregnant because she wanted to get pregnant, and uh, stealing her partner's sperm out of a condom in the bathroom? I have to say that, for me, there is actually no difference in that. If you're lying to somebody about yeah. whether you're... Uh, there is no difference. If you're lying to somebody, if, if a man is sleeping with you and you look him right in the eye and you say to him, I don't want, it's fine, I don't want a baby, trust me, it's fine. Would you and expect you, him then, having had that, yeah, that baby Yeah, my warning, you see, is for young boys, women are warned all the time, be in control of your own body, yeah. you have rights over your own body. The point mm. of my piece was to warn young men who might be a bit too naive and trusting. Well, they're so sure not going to be naive now, give, now though, well, that's bad, Which is good. Because then you're having okay. fewer children who are going to be with parents who but don't I mean, stay aren't together. are breeding suspicion, then, between couples? I mean, well, that's a really... Men or, should be suspicious I mean, relationships are hard, but relationships are hard enough already without it starting from suspicion. Suspicion, that's a horrible place. It should be starting from trust and growing from there. Well, I, I spoke to lots of men about this as well, and it sort of, they are trusting, and it didn't really occur to them that a woman in her late 30s or early 40s might be manipulating them because they think it's their last chance. I'm sure my husband wasn't but if aware you, Liz, of it. if you want to have a baby, okay, there are many ways... But that, I'm not saying, saying it's a good, hang hang on, on, saying it's a good thing to do. If you want to have a baby, there are many ways for women to go and have a baby. You can go to places where men who have voluntarily donated their sperm to a place to have a baby, and you can yeah, do but that. maybe if but you're to married to a man, you'd rather have his baby than go but to a But he doesn't want it. He doesn't want it. This is the whole point. And I do want to quote one thing that you said, because someone mentioned the word rights. You said in your part in your piece I thought it was my right given that he was living with me and I had bought him many many M&S meals now I know you're throwing that way as a joke you know yeah. whatever it's a kind of flippant comment that's fine we all Slightly do that tongue in cheek, it is yeah. oh, no, I understand that and, and the of viewers, are, the viewers right. are, are being facetious intelligent enough you know. to know that they are but you say it's your right to have this child. it's his right not to have well why a then if, if I don't think one. it's his right am I writing the piece I am writing the piece to get men to be more aware, especially I wrote in the piece, if you're a mum with a teenage son, yeah. say to him, protect yourself. Mm. But against what? Use the, a condom. Against what? Well, against I, women women I, understand yeah. Yeah. I do yeah. completely understand what Liz is saying. At what least Liz, I'm bringing I mean, the subject out. No, I, agree with you. You very of, I know lots of women who do this. If I know lots of women, there must be lots of You've women who do this. You've been very honest to say I that you did it in the first place. I spoke to a woman who had place. her fertility chart in a drawer. She was working out when she was ovulating mm. to have sex, didn't tell him that. So, this is something that happens. There's no point just saying it doesn't happen, women are trusted. Well, do you, do you think it's no point instead, saying of, that. instead of going for like the last result then, do you think it would have been more beneficial to write a report about not leaving it too late? And sort of, if, you, if that is something that you want to do. Yes, I, I, absolutely, that's a very good point. I said in my piece, if only I had been honest, and spoken to my younger husband about my fears, we wouldn't have got married, I'd have married someone who was ready to have a child and I would have had a child. Honesty doesn't pay and it actually scuppered me completely. Honesty doesn't pay? Honest, you no, no you'd have been this, sorry, yeah, it doesn't pay what I did. Mm. Yeah. If I'd been honest with my husband, he'd have said, look, I'm not ready, marry someone else. Mm. And I might have gone to a sperm bank or, or done something different. Mm. But I'm just saying that when women are particularly dangerous and vulnerable, mm towards the end of their 30s, early 40s. And I can 40s. understand yeah. I mean, I've always wanted to be a mum, and I know that if I hadn't have met the right person and I, I was getting towards the end of my body... But, but Holly, you must have a but moral I, compass I, somewhere. Absolutely. Holly, exactly. I would never... You, you I know I would never, ever resort to that. I would have explored yeah. one of the other options exactly. that you'd spoken of. Because I couldn't have lived but, with myself. But I do understand Liz's point saying that there are women, who, who there are women do that there do. Are. This highlights the point that if you're a if you're a guy really of any age, and you say beware if you're dating someone who is in their late thirties, yes. early forties, because there's every possibility they could yeah. pull this stunt yeah. on you. If that had happened, if you had got pregnant, and your partner, your husband, um, had said, "That is exactly not what I wanted to happen," and I'm afraid 
we're, this, we're through, I'm, I'm leaving. Would you have expected him to have supported the child that he had really very little part in I conceiving? probably wouldn't have because I'm very independent. I would have probably done it on my own, but I do know... Does a woman have any right to ask for help if she has a child that way? I, well, I don't... Mm, Probably not. She no. can't have a right. But to I know. Surely. But I know a woman who did that, and she's chased for many years her ex Does through, he know? The, through the CSA. Does she know that? Does he, he doesn't know, know that, that he doesn't she know manipulated this is how she did him. No. Mm. So she a, has chased him for financial support. Um, there were uh, there were some uh, some guys here who uh, who had their say. Uh, one man says the whole thing was devastating when it happened to him. He recalls our relationship had been fun but casual. The woman I had dated for uh, for a few weeks and then she was moving to Australia for a few months, which seemed to make a natural end to things. We certainly never talked about a long term future. So when she called with the news of her pregnancy, that was shocking enough. But the confession that uh, that she made left me doubly stunned. Uh, my reaction, my gut reaction, was to have nothing more to do with see, her. He says. Yeah, see, see, so much is spoken about women's rights. I think really, my piece was not to say what I did was a good idea. It was to warn men mm. that women are much more manipulative than they might and think. And there'll be a lot of, be a lot of guys watching this now who'll think twice the about mind. the relationship that they're in. Well, is that a good thing? Well, I so think exactly. it's always a good thing. I mean, listen, Breeding it's, mistrust. It's, it's always a good thing to, to, to bring difficult things out into the open. It's always good to have these discussions. But to say any man who moves in with a woman in her late 30s or early 40s, as you said, should take it as read that she will want to use him to procreate. I really hope that's not the message that we will take no, home from I this. I really too. hope it's not. I hope it's that we... we in a way, it sort of put the, put the light for men onto women because women we we are raised always to be quite frightened of becoming pregnant actually you know by men who say as i said i'll be very careful and then they're not because at the end of the day who has to deal with that they always say oh we'll deal with it no i will yeah, but we're not it. talking about so it's, teenagers it's spun which... it round no exactly so now it's kind of saying to men mm. you also have to be careful by the way blah 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 well, it's I, a... as i said to you well, I, I it's not the same be a good thing. well yes well, we'll, we have to we yeah, have to leave sense, it there yeah. but I, but i and i i agree i agree I, the, the the mere fact that you you You've discussed this, and you've said, you know, you, you regret doing it in the, in the first place. Although you wouldn't have regretted having the baby, I suspect, had had that happened, whether or not you'd have been honest with the with with the men themselves. Can I just ask one final question? Uh, those men uh, who you mention in your article, I assume, will now be able to identify themselves and know where they were in your life, and that they were the guys yeah. that were in the relationship. What are they going to think when they know what you did to them? Well, they'll probably be appalled. Um, but maybe if they've got teenage sons, they probably say to them, "Look, you know." Really protect yourself. Mm. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Fascinating. Thank, thank you, you. Thank very, you. very much indeed. Right, let's right. go to Stephen and Hans to get some more of your comments. Well, do you know something? We've had one understanding comment, but the rest of it, they're going crazy. Uh, Valerie, uh, men don't really know when they're ready or not. My last one was conceived that way. That's the supporting one. But hear these. Uh, Chantel Ryan on Facebook. Is this woman for real? Um, Ellie Hayes. What a horrible woman. Saying she wanted a child just to get time off work. A baby is not a bloody toy you can put away for a few months once you're bored. This woman is lying. She never did this. It's just something to write about. Please keep all your comments coming in. Well, we don't say you're a horrible woman at all. We say you're a very nice person. And, uh, and, uh, and are you telling the truth? Did this really happen? Are you telling the truth? Did it really happen? About the, the, the yes, the, the whole thing. Someone just said, said there that uh, they weren't sure that you were actually that it ever happened that you're just making it up. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't make up fantasies. No. <laughs> there you go. That after the break, mistress's star Shelley Conn on her latest role.